Firstly, thank you all so much, um, our special family and friends for being here and sharing this wonderful day with Sally, Millie, Georgia and I. Also delighted to have many of you here a second time, some 30 years after our first attempt. You're a little less feisty this time around. <laughs> However, you remain just as beautiful as you were 30 years ago. And today you're even kinder, funnier and more elegant. Yeah. I am one very lucky fella. Trying to describe love is one of our favourite pastimes. We use the words we have to write stories and poems and songs about love. And even though we describe love in different ways, and even though love can look different from one person to the next, we all know it when we see it. Sally and Paul's love story goes back a long way. They have been here before. They know each other so well, and you both know you are the one. As you both told me on separate occasions, you believe everybody has a soulmate and you know you have found yours in each other. Love is a miraculous gift and a wedding is a celebration of that gift. We have come here today to celebrate this gift of love and to add our best wishes and blessings to the words that will unite Sally and Paul in the bonds of marriage. We have all loved in our lifetimes and in this moment, we're reminded that the ability to love is the very best part of our humanity. Sally and Paul, if there's anything you remember from today's ceremony, it is only love which can make it a glorious union. And it is by love that your marriage shall endure. Our parents' relationship isn't your normal love story but neither of our parents are particularly normal. Our dad has nine toes after shooting himself in the foot. <laughs> and our mum genuinely believes George Michael will come back from the dead for her. <laughs> dad may not be quite as good looking as George, however, he has made mum the happiest she has ever been, and we know this is reciprocated. There isn't anyone else I'd rather see you with, and I know I, although I initially wasn't on board, I wouldn't change anything about our family or today for the world. Everyone in this room knows the undeniable bond we both have with our mum and this is solely down to her commitment to us since the days we were born. She gave up everything for us when we were younger and continues to do so today. When asked how to describe our mum in three words, we would say caring, loyal and supportive. She is an amazing support system to so many people. Not only is she the best mum in the world, but also our best friend. We are very lucky that we can tell her anything and everything although sometimes she may not want to hear it. She's always up for a good time and prides herself on her ability after just one glass of wine to be able to go up to anyone of any age and start chatting to them. Mum, you look absolutely amazing tonight and it's a massive improvement from the pink meringue wedding dress and the self-cut fringe from 30 years ago. She's always put everyone else before herself and we all love you for that. To many, it's obvious that since we have been back together, you have absolutely made me the happiest man in the world. In truth, I always knew I had met the woman of my dreams. Sadly, I was too young and too dumb to fully appreciate that at the time. We have always been soulmates, even through bad times, and frequently we were the first person either of us called when we had a problem. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for giving me a second chance. Having been on gardening leave for 20 years, I've definitely grown up 
And I promise you here tonight, in front of our girls, family and friends, I'm going to love and look after you and never let you go again. We are gathered here to celebrate and to witness the joining of Sally and Paul in marriage and to share in the joy of this very special occasion. You have chosen to be with someone who enhances you, who makes you think, who makes you smile and makes every day brighter. You're teaming up and saying to the other, every experience I'm going to have, I want you to be part of it. Will you, Paul Barrymore Glenister, keep Sally Francis Glenister as your favorite person, to laugh with her, go on adventures with her, support her through life's, life's tough moments and be proud of her. I certainly will. Will you, Sally Francis Glenister, keep Paul Barrymore Glenister as your favorite person, to laugh with him, go on adventures with him, support him through life's tough moments, be proud of him, grow old with him, and find new reasons to love him every day. I will. Sally, I give you this ring as a sign of my love and my lifelong devotion. Wear it and know that I love you. Paul, as I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and lifelong devotion, wear it and know that I love you. Thank you. Hands up, hands up who did the second time club. Yep, good, just check it. Right. You, she said, yeah. Hey. There are doubts when you first get married because there are things that come in the contract that tend to worry you. It's a bit like, um, if we have kids, what will they turn out like? Well, I can tell you, I'm quite pleased to say, pretty bloody well. I stand before you today a very proud man. Proud to be Paul's friend and to have been asked to be his best man, but mostly because I'm a best man whose work is finally done. Because it was myself, along with Danny, who introduced Paul and Sally some 35 years ago. And whilst there have been a few bumps in the road along the way, our matchmaking skills were not as bad as we originally thought. Paul and Sally were married after five years of courting on May 11th, 1991, some 30 years ago. There then followed a period which Paul recently endearingly referred to as gardening leave. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not an expert on gardening, but one can only presume that in 20 years of gardening for both Paul and Sally, there were a number of well-turned beds and some neatly trimmed bushes. <laughs> so what you see today before you, ladies and gentlemen, is the final completion of a great circle of love. When Paul told me he was back together with Sally, my heart literally leapt for joy. Many of us here today knew that Paul never stopped loving Sally and that she was what he always wanted and Sally clearly felt exactly the same way. The fact that he had to wait 20 years did not deter him and to see Paul, Sally, Millie and George reunited as a family was such a joy. All one really wants in life is for your friends to be happy and that is why today is so very, very special. What an amazing experience for these two girls at their age to witness their parents getting married. I know Paul and Sally love you so very, very much and are immensely proud of you both. And so it only remains to, for me to thank Paul and Sally on behalf of us all for this amazing day, to wish them both many, many years of happiness together. Paul is one of life's very best mates. He is very loyal, kind, supportive, and always there when I've needed advice or help. I love you very much, mate. A very special thank you goes to Millie and Georgia. Unbeknown to you, or indeed us at the time, you played a significant role in enabling Mum and I to enjoy each other's company and bringing us back together again. You've both been incredibly supportive, and I believe the four of us now, lucky enough not only to have the family unit we never had, but to have an amazing and special bond between us all.
When we googled how to start a speech for your parents' wedding after they've been separated for 19 years, we shockingly found zero results. This is possibly because it's never happened before, or more likely to be because the kids that it has happened to are too scared to write about it online. <laughs> Even though they pretended to hate each other for 19 years, and still sometimes do, it is clear the love they have for each other is eternal and something we both hope to find. We would like to finish by thanking our parents for getting back together for several reasons. Firstly, we've never seen our parents so happy. Secondly, it's incredible to be a family of four again. And thirdly, we now have a spa and cinema room in our house. <laughs> We couldn't have got any luckier in life having you to call mum. You truly are the most amazing person we have ever met and probably will ever meet. You are the best mum, wife, friend, daughter and sister and to see you happy is the best blessing and for that to be alongside dad is honestly all we could ever ask for. Dad, you are truly the best. The relationship we have with you is irreplaceable and you have no idea how much you mean to us. You're thoughtful, caring and full of love in everything that you do. G and I are so lucky to have you both as parents, but for you to come back together and do it, and do it as husband and wife makes us both so happy. I'd like to propose a toast to Sally. You look simply stunning. This is going to be a happy ever after. Yeah.